Okay, everybody. Aaron Beth here, Sub-Zero Specialist. Today, we're going to show you how to disassemble and clean this dairy compartment. First thing we're going to do is going to get a putty knife like this and then we're going to you can see it coming apart there so don't force anything just use a putty knife let the putty knife slide in because there's tabs in here you see these tabs right here they snap in place so you just take these out and you can also remove the door we'll do the same thing on this side take that out that there you can also remove the door get this little compartment gasket like this it just presses right in and now you have complete disassembly you can wash this down, which we will do. Okay, now you can see all the crud in here. You can, so I'm going to spray it with some citrus cleaner. And this citrus cleaner is also antibacteria. So we'll disinfect it and kill any germs. Now I've already cleaned this dairy compartment in the in the wash tub. But as you can see, you need to take it apart if you really want a thorough job. These little rubber pieces here are, are used to cushion the shelf when it's in the door. It's just, it's, it keeps it from vibrating and it also it acts as a brake so it doesn't slide out and pop out easily. Okay, so I'm just going to finish cleaning this up. Had stubborn and a bit of stubborn mold in there. So I want to come out. There you go. Now it would be ideal just to rinse this under hot water. But like I said, I've already cleaned this and I just wanted to take this apart to show you if you want to do a thorough job of cleaning. Okay, so now we can put this back together. First thing we're going to do is we're going to put the seal on. I want you to notice one thing about this seal when you put it back on. There's a top and a bottom. You can see there's a ridge or a lip right here. And that goes on like just press this in.
Okay. Now the seal is in. Let's put one of these end pieces on. You put the bottom in, you see this little indentations here, and you have these raised tabs. So you're going to put this in like this, and then you're going to just snap it in place. And you're going to put your door on, a little here, it goes into that little slot. Leave it like that, and you're going to get your other end cap. You're going to put it in like this. Make sure this is lined up. Okay, that's how you do it. See you next time.